Welcome back everybody, Gator the Legend here with you as always. I was very hesitant to do a review on the Rice Gum Disc Track. Uh, you know, I felt like maybe it's too many videos about the same thing. But then there was a part of me that was like, holy fucking shit, this is such goddamn fucking garbage. How do I stay quiet? How do I not say anything? How do I just sit on the sidelines and watch this atrocity take over the fucking web? So I put it in your guys' hands. I let you vote on Twitter, and apparently you fucking agreed with me. So let's get into this fucking review. A bunch of other frickin' lies. Frickin' frickin' frickin'. I'm who you're obsessed with. Alright, hold the phone right there for a minute. For, first off, you're bashing him for being obsessed with you, yet you're the one who asked for all this to happen. You wanted this. You put a video out like a year ago asking him. As far as I know, you're the only motherfucker who's gone out of their way to ask iDubs to make a fucking video about you, and he actually fucking did it. So if anything, you, you should be fucking thanking him. Hey, you done crawled out your little cave. You got a girl, but I can tell that you a little gay. You got a girl, but I could tell that you were a little gay. I mean, I, I guess it's flowing okay. I mean, you got that right. It's flowing all right and everything. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, he's got a girl, but you could tell that he's gay. Yeah, that's usually how it works. It's usually the guys with the chicks that you're thinking, that guy likes to suck a lot of pole. Somebody stop the school shooter. He'll like filled with rage. Stop it again. Uh, he's a school shooter now? Uh, what, what, what the fuck are you talking about? This isn't even like... This makes no sense. What is going on during this fucking di diss track so far? All your disses are just made up bullshit. I could do that about anyone. Rice gum is a retard, and he sucks a lot, and he fucking eats a Taco Bell, and then he shits his pants. Like, you just make shit up, man. Oh, he s sleeps in his mom's basement under some covers that his grandma knitted him over Christmas. In the rain, I see stars like I'm KO. Bitches chase me, I don't got no time to chase hoes. For the song, I was gonna make y'all wait though. But like H3, I had to let the weight go. Alright, now you've crossed the fucking line. You leave H3 out of this. What the fuck does H3 have to do with this? It's, it's against iDubs. It's an iDubs diss track, so why are you dissing H3? It doesn't make any fucking sense. It's not an iDubs H3 diss track. It's just an iDubs diss track. But we're gonna stop and call uh, H3 H3 fucking fat for a minute. Cause why the fuck not? We have nothing else that rhymes here. So let's just call H3 fucking fat. Cause you can't call fucking iDubs fat cause he's skinny as a fucking pulp. I remember I was broke, I couldn't dress a lot. Came out from nothing, little bitch, that's why I flex a lot. So I covered this in the last video, dude. You, you obviously weren't fucking poor. If you grow up from nothing and you couldn't dress a lot, which I don't really understand what that fucking means. Does it mean you were naked all the time? Were you running around naked? Because your parents should have been arrested and you should have put in, been put in fucking child services or something. You shouldn't have been running around goddamn naked unless you like lived in Africa and was drinking out of fucking mud puddles or whatever. And again, being fucking poor growing up doesn't make you a dick. It makes you humble. It makes you want to hide your fucking expensive things because you realize that there are people out there that live just like you, that are experiencing the same experiences just like you did, and that are watching you act like a fucking dick, just like the dicks you hated to see when you were a fucking kid, because if you were poor and you saw people with a lot of shit, you weren't like, oh, well, they're so fucking cool. You're like, no, he's a fucking dick, and you're a fucking dick. Ah, moving on. How much money did this cost? You better guess a lot. Is this nerd ever get pussy shit? I'm guessing not. Uh, again, you're just bashing. Oh, you can't get any sex. You can't get laid, I dubs. Because this makes sense. I mean, I just put together this fucking 30 minute coherent thing that's actually pointing out facts and fucking videos and fucking information of shit that you fucking did that you fucked up. He actually fucking put some actual fucking work into it. All you did was sit there and spend a week writing insults. I could have done it in 10 minutes. You had to take a fucking week about it and lie to your fans a billion times about when it was even going to come out. Yeah, he used to get picked on, he a big nerd. He don't got no points, he confuses you with big words. All right, I stopped it again, I'm sorry. He confuses you with big words. Don't listen to that, people. Don't listen to it. He's trying to make you feel bad for like an iDubs because he has a sophisticated grammar. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. Okay, I guess we prefer someone who talks about big words. He got the big words and he sleeps with the sister and he's a nerd and he's got a gigantic head. Yeah, dude, you're so much fucking smarter than iDubs. You're right, he just uses a bunch of words, words to make himself seem smart. You got it all fucking figured out, don't you? They try to see me start to fall like September. Try to roast me in the comments, but remember how you go support a guy who probably says the N word. 
Oh my god! Do, 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 do my ears deceive me? Or did Rice Gum just finally have a decent argument? I'm serious, guys. Did you hear it? Let's, let's give it up for him. Give it up for him. You're right. You're right. The fact that uh, I-Dubs uses the N-word is totally something that you could roast him about. Whether or not everyone agrees or disagrees is irrelevant, uh, but, but it is definitely something that he has done that is controversial and that a lot of people view in a very negative, horrible light. So you, you finally did it. You finally fucking did it. <laughs> Four videos later, all the time I've put into this, all the energy I've put into this, and you finally came up with a, g a good fucking strike back. Good job, Rice Gum. Good job, buddy. Uh, uh, all right, let's go ahead and move on a little bit further. I'm hoping, I'm hoping you move on. You elaborate off of this. We talk about this for a little while, cause, cause you finally got a good point, dude. Super proud of you. I ran it up fast. I feel like the Flash. You can see I'm getting mad, bringing up the past. H3 stop beating snacks, bitch. You get fat. Flew out pretty pie just to fuck him in the ass. Oh wow, another gay joke. Congratulations, Rice Gum made another gay joke about I Dubs. I Dubs has made a billion fucking gay jokes about himself like a fucking billion like literally add them all up it equals one billion exactly you're never going to be able to match the amount of gay jokes idubs has already made about himself so just give it up I'm, I'm hoping going forward in this video we're done with the gay jokes i highly doubt it considering the way the video is going that everything i fucking hope for and wish for just keeps crumbling down and i apologize i keep having to stop it so frequently but there's just so much there's just just so much horse shit in this fucking video how does it have all the views that it has <laughs> you're a stalker, Ian. You think about me every night. He's definitely white. You might as well be Asian because you're obsessed with rice. Okay, I do have to give you a little bit of credit. That was a pretty decent pun. Uh, I, I did I did appreciate that. Again, it had no real relevance. It's not a real dig at anybody or anything. But a very good pun, and I, I always appreciate a good pun. That's one thing you learn about the Gator. A good pun will always uh, make my day. Bill Gates face buddy like a Girl Scout Someone tell this angry male house to take a couple pills and chill out before I knock his grill out I cannot have it you little mini bop saget get your fucking ass kicked Why you gotta be so violent Raska? Are you really gonna go beat him up? You, you gonna go punch him in the face? If he says something else you gonna you gonna go roll up on him and be like Alright buddy all my insults aren't working I called you gay I said you slept with your sister I mentioned about how big your head was I called H3 fat like twice man You haven't learned your fucking lesson bro I'm gonna knock the fuck teeth that, bro Come on bro Let's fuck fight bro Let's go bro Don't you buy yourself some thicker glasses You look like Inspector Gadget As far as that girl I trolled Sorry if that offended you I guess I was on some other shit But now I'm guilty yet again Because I'm about to expose another bitch why are you apologizing? First off, you're not really sorry about anything. That's fucking obvious beyond belief right now. And secondly, when you say, I'm sorry if that offended you, uh, trust me, that means you're not sorry at all. My wife has mentioned this to me many, many times. When you say you're sorry for the way someone else is feeling, that's really just you not saying you're sorry. You're just trying to get away with something. So don't even bother putting it in the song. Just leave it out. You're not sorry for fucking shit. Don't threaten me with your viz, Mr. Vanilla Isis. You're the definition of what white is. Hell yeah, I get big checks. You never seen anything like this. So since you like to make vids, the next one you make can be about how pathetic your life is. Okay. Is that... That's it, huh? Uh, well, uh... I don't really know what to say. It was just garbage. It was just a bunch of, again, like I said in my last uh, video, I meant talking about his last fucking video, it's just a bunch of grade school insults. It's it's nothing to watch here, guys. They're, they're, the diss track, like the beat's solid, I'm not going to lie. The flow of how it all goes, that's also pretty decent. But lyrically, it's just garbage. It's just awful. And, it, and considering what his point was and what he was trying to accomplish, he's completely missed the mark on every single level. The only thing I could really take away from it, besides, like I said, the beat and the, you know, the rhythm and all that good stuff, is the point he brought up about the N-word. I'm not saying I necessarily agree with him, but that's the only thing that was actually based in reality. Uh, something that I-Dubs did that he deserved to be, you know, or not necessarily deserved, but whatever you could roast him about. The whole, uh, the only other thing that was really in reality was the whole, like, you, you know, you took months to research this and everything. But again, you asked for that. So I'm not sure why you would like bash somebody for doing exactly what you asked for. So uh, that's not really relevant either. So I'd like to end this with a message to Ricegum. Today, the day that you released your diss track, is also Mental Health Awareness Day, or something like that. And I, my suggestion to you would be to get into therapy. 
Get some help, buddy. You obviously have some deep-rooted issues there. I'm guessing that the way your past actually went probably wasn't poor at all. I'm guessing you were probably spoiled. You probably went to your parents and asked for anything that you wanted, and they did everything they could to give it to you. They probably really just were trying to give you a better life than what they had when they were kids. They didn't realize until it was too late how much they have failed you. But they have failed you. And I hope they're aware of it. And I hope they talk to you. And I hope they try to get you some help. Because you really do need it. Thank you guys so much for joining in. I really do appreciate your support. Sorry for putting off the 4K video again. I, I, I'm going to do it. I, I promise. It's just, ooh, when this came out, I just, I, I listened to it and I'm like, what the fuck is happening? What the fuck's going on? So I just had to make a response to it, at least so you guys know how I feel about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I've been the Gator and you've been great. Peace. My name is Rice Cum and I like cum. And I like to run into a field of men, backwards. Hopefully they're naked with boners. Cause I'm a nerd, and I go to school a lot. And I go and I help homeless people, and then I fucking just throw a bunch of money in their faces. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? Am I a meme yet? Am I a meme yet?